Hey everybody, uh, this is just about to leave the shop and I thought we'd catch it on film before it did because it's just really cool. This is in fact a birthday present that I have built for a friend of mine. Um, it is a piece of space hardware. It's not really a piece of space hardware, but it is kind of a piece of space testing hardware. Here's the thing. Astronauts, when they go into space, are wearing pressurized spacesuits. We all know that. But what does that mean to have a pressurized suit? That means that the suit is under a positive amount of pressure, usually three and a half pounds per square inch. Not that much, but enough to make it quite difficult for astronauts to move around. And their mobility has always been a problem that NASA has attempted to solve in lots and lots of different ways with technology and bearings and constant volume joints, etc. What I have built is a testing facility for a space glove. That means this box replicates what it's like to wear a glove in space. But instead of pressurizing the glove, because I don't have a full pressure suit, I am negatively pressurizing the glove's atmosphere, i.e. this box will be a vacuum. So what this is, is a glove box that recreates the exact pressure differential from outside to inside for an astronaut. And it's also an arcade game, sort of. Let me turn it on and show you these features. That's the light. And that's the vacuum. Now, I pull it to, yeah, see, it's waking up. I pull it to one PSI, two PSI, three PSI, three and a half PSI. All right, so once it's filled to the correct pounds per square inch of pressure, now it's time to actually complete a task. And the task I've got in here is three nuts and three bolts. The wearer will have to put three nuts on three bolts that are here. When they do all three, they win. The middle one is the hardest, although it was the easiest for me because I've been doing this all week. And then there's the bottom one. Ah, there we go. Each of those bolts, when it reaches its seat, actually completes a circuit and then will light something up there. But uh, that's a different story. Mostly, ah, I'm astonished by how difficult it is to actually move around. The idea, like from the movie Gravity, that you could like reach out and grab something with one of these gloves? No way, not, not gonna happen. Actually, now I'll pull the glove out and talk a little bit about its construction. Let's see here. I have not been gluing much of this so that I can actually work on it. Um, and the glove is a bit of a cheat. This is not a genuine piece of NASA hardware. Um, its base is a cloth reinforced hazmat glove. Uh, I believe it's nitrile uh, and it's very thick. These stripes are actually cloth tape and I had to add them in because this thing was ballooning to like twice its size. And if you've ever seen a spacesuit with its covering off, it has stuff just like this ribbing all the way down that helps the suit actually conform to the size of the astronaut and not blow up like a balloon. This uh, front covering part I uh, made and underneath it, I actually have, again, still you can see cloth tape covering over parts of the hand so that it doesn't balloon too far. Again, though, you still have to be able to fit your hand in it, so it's kind of a, a it was a tricky thing to construct. These front fingers are actually uh, blue kitchen gloves that I also taped on, but filled with padding so that they actually give you something to, to grip with. Um, I believe this is a very reasonable approximation of the behavior of a space glove, if not um, the actual functionality. I, I wouldn't take this glove into space. So this is my glove box. I didn't intend to make something that would be a cool museum exhibit when I started, but now I'm really psyched about this thing. It is fun to play, hard to try. Uh, it's everything that you want out of a museum exhibit, and I'm pretty psyched to give it as a birthday present. Bye, everybody.